Stop harassing my government, Buhari urges Nigerians elites. Buhari is speaking. Oh, say, please, oh, stop harassing my government. Oh, stop harassing me. And let me leave. Let me do the way I want to do it. My dear, you cannot do it the way you want to do it. You were duly elected according to INEC as the president of this country. You owe the country. You need to explain. You need to address. You need to face issues square on. Hiding behind aides that come up as Garu Bashewa and Femi Adeshino and Lai Mohammed is a deceit from the pit of hell and will not allow it. You need as, don't you see the presidents of countries will emanate good behavior good character not bad one we don't condone if you have developed a bad character undo it hmm? please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you so much stop harassing my government buhari urge nigerians elites President Muhammadu Buhari has asked the Nigerian elites to stop harassing his government with their unfounded criticism, noting that this rating they have never been compensated about cannot continue any longer. Buhari spoke yesterday in his hometown, Dara Kastena State, while hosting the APC governors after revalidating his, part, his membership to APC. The president who uh, accused the Nigerian elite of constantly harassing his government since assuming office five and a half years ago. However, said his administration's book will always be open for public scrutiny as the government has nothing to hide. He regarded and said that despite the glaring successes recorded in his administration in the face of joining revenue, the Nigerian elite still saw nothing good in his government. They never see anything good in me, always criticizing, always speaking anything that is not done. Nigerians' elites are not interested in rating my, my hard hand competence, how hard I've worked very hard in this country. They but they are interested in harassing us. He's talking to his APC people. They are interested in harassing us despite all the efforts we are making for the country to be good, despite the hard work we are putting. He pleaded with the elites to be fair in the assessment of his performance by taking cognizance of the state of the country finances when he was inaugurated in May 2015. According to... You don't blow your trumpet. You don't put your hands behind your back and say, well done myself. No. People tell you. Eh? You people, you listen to the voice of people, then you know whether you are doing well or not. And listen, those elites you are talking about, they are the ones who are able to speak. The common man on the street, can he say anything that you will hear? You see, Buhari does not, he has shut up the mouth of the media. Now he wants to shut up the mouth of the elite. And this is what he's trying to do. It's all part and part of the, start, the tactics. According to the president, the problem is that, is that I will like, especially the elite, to please be reflective when they came, when they were, where were they, when the resources available then and the conditions of the infrastructures in the country. I was convicted to go over it several times to tell Nigerians that in 1999 to 2014, let them check the N with NMPC and let them check with the government of the central bank, the daily production with 2.4 million barrels per day. And the available cost was a hundred American dollar per barrel a day. So for these years, nine, daily Nigerians would earn having 2.4 million times hundred dollars every day. But look at the condition of infrastructure. You know that better than I do. I know I went around the country and the local government area. There is nothing to show for it. The president elaborated on the condition of he, the condition he met on ground in 2015. You know the road more than I do, he said. Don't even go there. Local Jadina you know, people have died. Those roads. Don't be stop stop deceiving yourself. Stop telling yourself, well done. You have not done anything. You are the worst that we've ever had in Nigeria. The worst. The worst. You know the condition of the rail. The, the rail that you borrowed that Nigeria grand grandchildren will still be paying for. Excuse me. The rails was dead. Now look, every year, rails are working. Everything is fine. New trains. Money that you borrowed. When we, take, when we took over this administration, production went down. 
but about half a million barrel per day. The price collapsed. We had nothing to do. We could not do anything but look out for a bailout system. We got money from everywhere we can. 1999 to 20, 2014, we had so much money to spend. What did we do? The Center for Salary, what did we do? The president asked the APC governors to go to their constituencies and make efforts to convince their elites and their people that his administration is doing well and that they should respect what he has done, insisting that the government is working hard, telling their people. Because some of these people, if you don't tell them, they will not know. You don't need to tell them. They say actions speak louder than voice. What you need to do is show them. Don't tell them. Just show them. Okay? According to a release by Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garu Bashewo, Buhari has assured Nigerians of full transparency implementation of the 2021 budget. He appreciated the National Assembly for meticulously consideration of the budget before its passage. The President said the budget capitalized on some of the vision of the administration and all efforts will be made to ensure its effective implementation. He stated, we have directed all the ministry all the ministries departments of agencies to follow what is in the budget so that we can get the national assembly easy support the next for the next budget we can tell them what we have done what we have received and what we have spent those same money on we are always ready to make the balance sheets available to all Nigerians and the National Assembly. We have nothing to hide. Buhari said his administration has given more attention to agriculture when headsmen are on the, boat, on the, on the farms eating of the crops and the, we have kidnappers and anything. What, so, what, I mean, you, you are giving... You are giving the, one of the twin, you are giving twin A to take, you are taking from twin B to give to twin A. Have you done anything? No. The work done is still zero. So don't deceive yourself, okay? People cannot go to their farm. You say you have, is it not in this same country less than a, a few months ago, less than four months ago that uh, people went to their rice farm and their head was taken out of their body? What did presidency say? Because Garuba Sheo is presidency. They did not take permission before they went to their farm. More than 40-something men went to their farm. Their head were taken out of their body. And you say, we are doing, excuse me, don't let us start this more. Don't, don't, don't just even let us start. Don't let us say the elite should be, they should be, they should be, they should recognize what you have done. Uh, governors should go back and tell their people, uh, tell the elites not to oppress him, not to, not to be antagonizing him. Nigerians failed regime. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.